everyone, it's Mrs Jeans here. However, I'm wildly aware that a lot of you might remember me as Miss McD, which is a little bit crazy considering I've been married for seven years. But all ex-pupils, I am looking for a favour. As you know, Woodmill has had a really, really difficult year this year. And um, I've been talking to a lot of people across Scotland in computer and science departments, and they've really been asking me sort of, um, you know, to help develop resources, etc, etc. But what we've also been thinking about is people in computing. And we have at Woodmill a really, really good and a really, really big uh, computing department. Okay, we've got three members of staff. We've got, you know, when I first started, we had one advanced higher computing student. This year, we've got 17, which is crazy. So, but I think a lot of people think that if you take computing science, you're definitely going to go on to be a software developer or you're definitely going to go on to design web pages and they don't think about all the skills. I think at Woodmill we really concentrate on the skills that you build from computing science. So what I wanted to do was to create a kind of enterprise style, I don't know, probably more like a employability style board to go in the corridor for when we return to Woodmill so that the younger kids and especially suppose some of the kids who are really kind of missing out on their exams and stuff just now through this really difficult time can think about some of the progression routes that you could take from computing science and a lot of the skills that you build on that will be useful somewhere. Now I'm looking for the more ideas the better. You know I want to hear from people who did higher, advanced higher games development in S5 and S6 at university in the last sort of eight years and I want you to tell me where you are now. I want you to tell me that you went to university and did astro engineering or you know or astrophysics or something and then didn't like it and then swapped into something else and now you manage a hotel. You know that's what I want to hear because everybody has their own path to take. So what I'm looking for is one photograph and I'm hoping that because we're kind of still in semi-lockdown that most of you will be able to take five minutes out of your time and take a photograph of yourself with an A4 piece of paper like this. And I want the photograph to kind of be like waist up with this nice and clear. So you can see on mine, I've got Woodmill High School. What did I do? Uh, higher Computing Science. That's a little bit of a lie on mine because I went to a different high school and did only Higher Computing because I'm so old. But um, you'll either have Higher or Advanced Higher Computing Science or NPA Games Development or something there. And then your next thing is, what did you do next? You're then. Okay, so I went to the University of Stirling. I did a BSc, a Bachelor of Science degree in Computing Science, Mathematics and Professional Education. Okay, now for some of you, that might look a lot bigger. It might you, it might be empty. You might have not went and went straight into your now, which is your job, which would be great. If you did a different job, that could be in there. If you did an apprenticeship to be an electrician, that could be in there. If you uh, went to college to do games development, then would you need to do computer design? Then like amazing write it all in tell me what you did and it's up to you how much detail you want to put i don't want to know if you dropped out or whatever just tell us what you did so everyone can see the different paths okay um and what sort of thing i want to say i suppose then i want you to put what your now is okay if you finish university or you finish college or you finish your apprenticeship or whatever it is that you did or you finished that job that you did some training maybe and you're doing a different job then pop that under the now so i've just put teacher of computing science and my two little hashtags which are take your own path and computing for everyone okay so hopefully you can help me out with a little picture and uh, it would be great to see all of your faces because it's been so many years and get something up on the wall Thanks in advance, guys. Please, please share away. And if you didn't do higher, advanced higher or MPA games development, share it anybody, anyway. Uh, tag all the people that, um, that you know who did do it so we can try and get as many responses as possible. I think it would be brilliant when we finally get back into the Woodmill building after the year that we've had that um, you know pupils can see pictures of past pupils, that teachers can see pictures of you and that we can uh, make it a little bit more Woodmill again. Okay, speak to you later, guys. Bye.